why India is so keen for to develop indigenous unmanned combat systems. India is investing in developing unmanned vehicles as it prepares for an approaching era of soldier-less battlefields despite the current void in policies governing how they will be used. We have good capability in terms of software and several foreign companies are coming in, which means production capabilities are bound to get developed. Why can't we put the two together and create UAVs for the air, ground and underwater, said S. Christopher, chairman of the DRDO, recently. The DRDO is putting together a policy document for the year 2020 as well as a more advanced one for 2025, which has laid emphasis on building the country's drone capabilities. The DRDO is working on a series of unmanned vehicles including unmanned combat aircraft, or UCAV, which will be powered by the homegrown Kaveri engine. These five facts will prove that India is keen for UAV and also want to develop it indigenously. Number 5. IAI is working on project with India's Defence Research Development Organisation, DRDO, to transform legacy Hindustan Aeronautics, HAL, Cheetok helicopters into unmanned aircraft that can be operated from ships. Number 4. Government-run labs of the DRDO, Defence Research and Development Organisation, and National Aeronautics LTD, along with state-owned defence manufacturer Hindustan Aeronautics LTD, are working on several drone projects, starting with vehicles that weigh under 1 kg to Rustam 2, which will have a payload capacity of 350 kg. Number 3. The vast amount of global manufacturers displaying UAVs at Aero India this year signaled the interest of India's armed forces to procure these machines. Israel Aerospace Industries, Elbit, Saab, Boeing, and many other smaller players gave a prominent display of their drones, some of which were capable of weaponized warfare. JK Organization has announced its foray into India's drone market in partnership with Canadian firm Micropilot. There are commercial sectors that will benefit from this. Number 2. India ambitious project of Aura the UCAV will be capable of releasing missiles, bombs, and precision guided munitions. Number 1. Indian government allocated Rs 3000 crore for development of advanced version of Kaveri engine named Gatak to power India's unmanned combat air vehicle, UCAV, Aura. Conclusion Now India is moving on the path of self-reliance and development of indigenous unmanned combat system is one part of self, reliance and India has taken major steps in the area. You can take the examples like development of Rustam and allocation of fund for Gatak engine.